Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? In Season 5 of NBA 2K23, they added a new moving step back into the game, the Kimba Walker moving step back. Now, when it comes to the moving step back, something that was newly introduced into the game this year, before this, it was just hop jumpers that were considered the moving step backs. Now, you can do a hop jumper, you can dribble with it, and you got the moving step backs as well. When it comes to moving step backs, there's only about two animations that people use. The Luka one that gives you the really glitchy, long moving step step back animation and the normal one that gives you the Asta slide that people like to use in Comp Pro-Am. When it comes to this Kimball Walker one, if you guys don't know how to do it as well, all you need to do is flick diagonal down with the right joystick to the direction of the ball hand, especially if you're running that way and it will give you the moving step back animation. You're going to see me do it a lot in this video. You see me do it right there. And this animation is good. Now, unfortunately, you know, I said people usually only use the normal one and the Lucas step back because they're both glitchy in their own way. This Kimball Walker moving step back is not at all glitchy. It looks very normal looking, something you might see in the NBA. And you got a lot of options with it. You can shoot off of it. You can dribble out of it. I will say it's not going to compete with the other two with giving you space, with giving you crab moves, but it's decent, you know. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can read your defender off of it, which is really what moves like this are meant for you know you're not supposed to get a glitchy animation that's just super hard for the defender to keep up with you're supposed to read the defender after you do the move and decide if you're gonna have a shot decide if you can chain it with another dribble move to get you to the basket things like that Kimba walker man he was a four-time all-star it feels like just a few years ago and now he is pretty much out of the league he just got waived by the dallas mavericks that's kind of the life of these smaller guards now. A similar thing ended up happening with Isaiah Thomas. He got injured. He ended up being out of the league. Kimba Walker is not as short as Isaiah Thomas, but he's kind of in the same boat. He's a scoring guard that is pretty terrible at defense. Even at his peak, you know, he wasn't as good as Isaiah Thomas, I will say. I think in his prime, he was like 25 points, maybe 6, 7 assists. And he was a shot creator, and that is big, but he's older now. Once you start losing that explosiveness as a point guard, especially as a small point guard that is not necessarily a great playmaker, not a great defender, not even a great shooter. He did get his shooting percentages up, but still, he was never really a catch-and-shoot sniper from deep. And it's tough, man. I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Kimba Walker. He was a fun player to watch. Unfortunately, he never really got the chance to go for a playoff run. Some of the Hornets teams he was on ended up doing pretty well. Now, some of them ended up doing really bad. I think the Charlotte Bobcats that he was on was the worst team ever. Like, they had the worst record ever, which, you know, it's unfortunate that he had to be a part of that. But to be fair, that was back when he wasn't as good of a player. He definitely improved quite a lot after that once the Hornets started getting really good. Check this out too, using the Tyler Hero fade. You would think that is pretty contested when you go to the right side or the ball dominant hand when you have the Tyler Hero fade. It gives you a very quick kind of lean in fade animation. I like it, you know, it's different. Even his going to the opposite ball hand, even though it's a bit slower, it is usable. I do hope that Kimba Walker ends up maybe just getting on a team to kind of ring chase to get his ring. I don't think he's ever going to be a starter caliber point guard again. But a scorer off the bench is something you can always use. I mean, players like Jamal Crawford, players like Lou Williams. I think he could be a player on the bench for a good team, a championship team. Even if he's not the backup point guard, even if he's like third string, just coming in there, having one big game where he scores like 12, 14 points. I mean, that would be good enough. I showed you guys, I ended up early in a shot. Almost gave this guy a chance to come back, but we ended up getting the ball back. Nice dunk right there. Let me know, too, what moving step back you guys use. Specifically, if it's not the Luka, if it's not the normal one, if there's something else you guys use that you might feel is underrated. I made a video about the Jason Tatum moving step back, and I actually use that on my 6'11 stretch with the 75 ball control. It is pretty decent as well. Again, another normal looking animation, but, I mean, you see the behind the back into the spin back right here for the three 
These animations that aren't glitchy, that aren't super crazy looking, can still be comboed up to look pretty nice right here. Just kind of trolling this man a little bit, getting into the paint with some dribble moves. Very easy moving step back right here into the momentum. I love that little combination. Just trying to see if people are going to panic and immediately sprint up at me. And if that happens, you guys already know I got the open dunk. Now, if they don't do that, then, of course, I got the space to shoot the three. Check it out. This guy just playing back. Kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. And I'm going to hit him with the Tally Hero fade right there. I also use this to kind of check the ball in the 1v1 situation. You know, I'm not mm, super necessary. You know, you can just sprint back. But it kind of does set me up to dribble and go to the hoop immediately after that fade away right here. Like I said, the Tally Hero fade to the opposite ball hit is slower. But it's not too slow to the point where it's going to get me trolled. It's going to be super hard to time. It's going to get contested. It is something that is usable right here burning through some of my stamina this guy is circling around hit him with the dunk meter right there on a wide open dunk which you know it looks cool if i miss that though i'm looking very ridiculous he decides to jump i decide to go in for the lob self lob that is to end the game this man right here is rocking the big fluffy coat. Now, I am a big fan of the coats they added into NBA 2K23, but the VC cost for them is nuts. I mean, that is why I'm rocking the shirt that you get for free for the new season. I mean, I'm down to spend some money on some clothes every once in a while, but I am a fan of making new builds, testing new things out, getting new videos out for you guys. And if I'm spending like you know, 500,000 VC on a build, I don't got much left over to buy the clothes and the will will not bless me sometimes i will get a thousand vc but most of the time i'm just getting like two boosts per category which you know i'm not complaining about it but i've seen people get fifteen thousand on the will i've seen people get unlimited boost i would sure appreciate it 2k would hook me up with something like that contact dunk on him right there and if i do end up spinning the wheel after i make this video and get like 500,000 VC. I'll make sure to let you guys know that 2K did bless me. They're watching my videos. And at that point, I'm going to try to get them to make some good changes for the game. We shall see 10 to 13. A little bit of a closer game as we're in it. I get the rim run right here. Trying to get open off the moving step back as I do it right here. Until behind the back. Sharpshooting takeover. So you already know I'm going to shoot that shot. I say sharpshooting takeover like I wasn't going to shoot it without it. But with it, it is a lot better of a chance of me actually hitting the shot right here. Again, ending him with the three for game. I got one more gameplay for you guys. Also, let me know if you guys are enjoying Season 5. When it comes to the animations they added, I'm pretty satisfied with it. There's a lot of them that I was having fun with testing out. When it comes to the reward, surprisingly, I think the level 25 reward, these super shoes that make you go flying, is better than the level 40 reward. Of course, the badge point's always nice. People are always just going to be expecting more of the season rewards. You know, 2k kind of set it up to where like it was going to be this battle pass we're expecting some great reward every season and they're not really delivering they're giving us more vehicles which yeah that is cool but i mean how many vehicles can we get to where we're not excited about it anymore we got like 15 of them it is what it is let me know what you guys think this is tonic man i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace